out. So if I can see your gorgeous faces, that makes me so, so, so happy. Um, I wanted to just briefly see, look how gorgeous all of you guys are. We have to like show off how hot all these people are on our team. I, was telling I just people, did like, like a major like, workout. <laughs> there you go. See, you're you said gorgeous. a major workout. Thank you. Appreciate it. Good. Look, she's like crushing it. See health and wellness at the core. I tell people that all the time. I was like, all I know is like these girls up level my fashion game, my jewelry game. Like, you know, you have to see everybody. Okay. So here's the deal. I feel like I cannot stop talking about isogenics. And the longer I'm in it, the longer I talk about it. And one of the number one things that people always say, Ashley just had a great post, post about this. You know, Jessica was talking about it not too long ago. was like, how do you still find people to talk to? Right. Like after years and years of doing this and it's like, OK, well, there's people everywhere. And I've always said I have yet to be at a Starbucks that isn't busy, even the one directly across from the other one. Right. Like sometimes you go to a place and they're like two on like the same shopping center, like right across from each other, that they're both busy. And the point being that there's a need like pumpkin spice or apple crisp, whatever you're ordering. Right. Like people are ordering in line for both of them. And that's how I feel about isogenic. So actually, at the beginning, sometimes I felt it was a little bit more tricky to find people because I thought like, okay, well, I called my sister or I called my mom and I don't really know what I'm saying. And I don't really know how to talk to people that I don't know. And I have that intimidation. And actually the longer I'm in it, I see opportunity everywhere and not opportunity that I'm going to sell someone opportunity that I feel like I'm wearing the rose colored isogenics glasses, you know, and I see possibility for them, opportunity for them physically, financially, emotionally, community that they just don't see yet. And so I want to try to equip you with a little bit of the skill set, just a natural way to be able to bring up conversation, okay? Just a natural way to be connecting with people that you're not selling them, you're not trying to enroll them on the spot, you don't have to send a link in 30 seconds, but that you constantly have this pipeline of new friends, people who are watching you, people who want to know what you're doing, people that you are genuinely interested in. So I have to tell you the story, and this is truly where the impetus of this call came from. The only bad thing about this right now is I don't have a photo. Like I flew home last night with my mother-in-law going, how did we not get a picture of that? Because we would have won America's Funniest like home videos, okay? The other thing you have to know, for those of you that don't know Ryan, my husband, the two of us could not be more stubborn. So like if he has an idea and I have an idea and we don't see eye to eye, like we don't get. So like whatever the plan is going to be is like it will get done, but it's always not that great because we are super stubborn. So I'm going to tell you exactly what happened. So if any of you know Sky Harbor Airport, we land, you traveled with a baby, you have to take a bunch of crap, right? My mother-in-law had an ankle replacement surgery not too long ago. So she was in a wheelchair just to like minimize the walking and everything. And I think I know where we're going. I did not know where we're going. Don't tell my husband that I'm admitting that. And it was a much longer trek over to the little train that had to take us to the rental car place. And in the process of like, we got this. And my husband's like, just stay with everybody and I will come pick you up. And I'm like, I'm just not going to stand here. Like I need to help. Right. So if anyone has ever seen the car seat in the bag, I put this on my backpack. Okay. Then I'm pushing the stroller and I've got like something in Adonis's lap and I've got like the wheelie strollers next to me. My husband is pushing the wheelchair, pushing a stroller. She's got something on her back. I mean, it's like Christmas lampoons vacation in the middle of Sky Harbor airport. You have no idea how many people talk to us. Like you have no idea that we're like, can I help you? Like, Hey, are you guys okay? Like, you know, this is great. Like whoever knew you could put that on your back, you know? And like a lot of times, I don't even think people realize that like Ryan and my mother-in-law were with me, like, you know, like they didn't even make that association. So people just thought it was like me with like the two suitcases and like the Sherpa backpack, like going on like, oh, can I help you? Can I help you? But there's like this extreme amount of gratitude, like trying not to be like mortified with humility, like what I could possibly look like right now going to the airport. But I was like, you're amazing. And like, you're the type of people that just always says this or like, you're so kind. Like, how can I thank you? Like, I'd love to be able to send you like a Starbucks on me. Like, can we connect on Instagram? And you guys, I have like a pipeline of new people. Yes, I have to send them a thank you through Starbucks. But it was like genuine, like people that held a door for me, wanted to push the suitcase partway down the way, like whatever it may be, like was entertaining Adonis that he was happy. And I just thought, I didn't know any of these people like five minutes ago. And now I have a whole bunch of great new people because I look like a silly person going to the airport and they're just there. So this is like the impetus of where you talk to. Okay. So we finally get to the little sky train thing that takes you over to rental car. And this gorgeous woman, I mean, gorgeous woman gets on and she's in all the stuff like Louis Vuitton bags, Chanel stuff. And of course she catches my attention. You guys know, I love flashy and I love bouge. 
And she has got this massive ring on her finger, like for like a Super Bowl ring. But she's like this gorgeous petite woman. You know, I'm like, well, she's not the linebacker. Like, what's that for? And I'm genuinely curious. Okay. And I just said, that's an amazing ring. And I said, I was like, what is that for? Like, how did you earn that? Or is that a gift? And she said, it's from being a top earner in my company. And I said, oh, what do you do? She's with a travel company. And I said, oh my gosh, is it network marketing? She said, yes. She goes, you know, network marketing. I said, best profession ever. So we have like literally less than five minutes to chat. I asked her if it was her first company. I asked her if she kept her options open with everything that's been happening in the industry. And I have all my hands full. Mind you, I'm still here with the stroller, Sherpa backpack on, holding the strollers. Like I'm a hot mess at the moment. And I just said to her, I said, I would really love to be able to keep this conversation going. I have zero idea where a business card is right now. But if you could text me like your information, I'm going to reach out to you as soon as I have like at least one hand free. And she sent me her digital card. We've already been texting. Come to find out a ton of people she knows use our products. She was like, no one has ever asked me about it. Like, I'm like, what? and she's like, I would love to have a collagen. And this like happened in like two seconds, like literally sitting on the train, it's moving around, but she caught my attention. And I will tell you, I know the type of person I'm looking for. So I'm gonna bring this full circle. Now, early on, I was like, hey, mom already bought it. Sister already bought it. Like my best friend didn't wanna buy it. Like what's gonna happen? Through the years of building Isogenics, I know the people I love to work with. So when we tell you to have intention behind your day, like who is your ideal client avatar? I want people who are confident. I want people who go out of their way to help other people. I want people who are funny. I want moms. I want people who are positive, who are into health and wellness, you know, who are kind, not the type of people that cut me off and trip me in the middle of that, but say, hey, you want to go first? Like, it looks like it's a little bit more difficult than you right now, Right. And so it's clear. And just to say, you know what? I don't know where you're from, but I, I love your energy. Like, I would love to stay in touch with you. I feel like you're the type of person that would like drop genius on your Instagram that I want to be able to follow you. Okay. And that's it. They don't know what I'm doing. I have no idea what they're doing, but I want to always be having these relationships. Years ago, I think I prospected the wrong type of person. You know, as Jess would say, anybody with a heartbeat and a pulse. And I've gotten away from that. But when I'm sitting in a hotel lobby room, when I'm sitting in a restaurant, right? When I'm sitting at a coffee shop and people come across my path, when, Je when Jess and I first got started, Janie would say to us, God just brings me the most amazing people. God just drops the most amazing people into my lap. And she would say that. And I would roll my eyes. I'm like, that is the stupidest thing I've ever heard. Why does she always say that all the time? For those of you that know any of my journey and my faith, I've come a long way. But I used to actually like make my skin crawl a little bit that she would say that. And I honestly now like lean into that so much. And I always get my courage. If you guys know Mel Robbins and like the five second rule and you're like, you know, five, four, three, two, one, you just got to go. And I just say, it's not by accident. We're at the same place at the same time. It is not by coincidence that you sat next to me today. You know, Kelly Dickerhoof and Jenny met on a plane, like flying. You just have no idea of those stories. What's the worst that's going to happen? The worst, they're not interested. They don't give you their number. They don't have social media. You're probably never going to see them again. And you're in the exact same situation that you are in right now. You don't have them as a contact. What's the best case scenario? They become your next executive. They're your roommate at celebration. You get to win a trip to Mexico and like crush it together. More often than not, it's going to happen somewhere in between, but you have no idea, but you have to be willing to just say like, you are the type of person I want to be friends with. Like, I don't know how we just met today, but I want to be able to stay in touch with you. Like, can I follow you on Instagram? You know, what's the best way to stay in touch with you and just go for it. So I know sometimes we give you a lot of the language with, you know, ABC, always be connecting. And what do you say? And how do you message people? And how do you slide into their DMs with a template, but it not be a script and yada, yada, yada. And that wasn't the call that I really wanted to share with you guys. I wanted to tell you about just talking to people. Like I listen to people all day long compliment each other, ask about stuff. I listen to people refer the most random things to people because they're not selling it, right? Like I'm, I'm the type of person I go into a coffee shop and someone says, oh my gosh, I love your bag. And they're like, oh yeah, I got it on Amazon and da, 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 da. By the way, do you know how many people are buying my little stroller car seat backpack shenanigans? Like, like who makes that? I was like, up a baby, right? I'm not getting any royalties. I'm not getting any commission for all these moms that are going in and buying the up a, ba up a baby, you know, stroller backpack right now. But people do this all the time. And if you can get so excited about isogenics and be unattached to the outcome of you might be selling them, or if they're not interested, that they're saying no to you and all these crazy stories that we come up with. And you can just think like, 
I have something so amazing for you. Like I used to call people and visualize, like I was holding a lotto ticket for their life that I was like, I literally get to give this away. Like that was like the story that I would tell myself and get myself so excited and my energy up that if they didn't say anything, I was resilient. But the idea was that they were focused less on what I was saying, but just heard my passion and heard my excitement and my enthusiasm that they wanted to know more. And I buzz around that way. You guys have heard me say like postpartum was hard, but like I'm back, like just knows I'm back. Like we are in it. We are working. I'm talking to people. I'm excited. Like I had five enrollments yesterday on the plane. I had Ryan's Wi-Fi and my phone. <laughs> I was like, I got to get these in, like trying to land. And I was like literally on my phone trying to get it to go. And his is spinning. He was like missing the football game, the WNBA. I don't even know what he was trying to watch. But I was like, I'm sorry. Like we're going to land at midnight. Like I got to do it, you know, like I'm excited about it. But the idea is that there's just people there. And if you're really, really clear of the people you want to work with and what you have to offer, you don't have to worry about everything you have to say. You just are excited to connect with them. And then you fall into everything we talked about the last call, which is adding them to the pages, doing a group message, using the tools. Like you don't have to know everything. But what I promise you is there are people in our company. There's people on our team. They're connecting all the time. And if you're saying, this is hard, or where do I meet people? Number one, get out of the witness protection program. You have got to get out of your house, okay? Number two, you go to places that you don't normally go to, like walking around an airport like a Sherpa. Like, do what you have to do sometime. And then just be open to who these people are. Like, I don't prejudge. I literally think, like, why am I standing next to you right now? And I've got 30 seconds to make a move. And if I never see you again, I never see you again. And if you're my next executive, it's going to be the best 30 seconds of my life, right? And the best, best script I've ever learned that I still utilize, the best template came from Eric Worre at GoPro in 2013. I think I've been in Isogenics for like a heartbeat. And he said, uh, you compliment them, you say you're in a hurry, and you figure out how to get a hold of them. Again, that's it. And that's all you guys have to know. You compliment them, you're in a hurry. It gives you permission to not feel like you have to have this crazy conversation. And what is the next step? You know, so when I see someone, sometimes they're across the way, but I see someone dress nice or I see them go out of their way to help someone. I'll tell you one, a woman I recently prospected, she was b busy doing her own thing, but she had walked out of the store and then she looked back and she saw the people behind her were like struggling, like their hands were full. And she went back and she opened the door and she helped these people and helped them get into her car. And I watched the whole thing. And I went up to her and I said, I said, the world needs more people like you. And she kind of looked at me and I said, I just happened to be standing here. I saw what happened. Like people are so rushed about what they're doing today. I said, I just wanted to tell you, like, I think it was amazing that you actually stopped and took five seconds out of your day to help somebody else. And she said, oh my gosh, you're so amazing. I said, super random, but I feel like it wasn't by chance that I saw you do that. I said, you're the energy of the type of people that I surround myself with. I'd love to be able to connect on Instagram with you. And she's like, oh my gosh. And she was like flattered. She was like, I'd love to be able to do that right? Have, like, has anything come out of it? No, but I do love her page. I do understand why I was drawn to her, right? Like she's like some of my stuff it might be a year from now, it might be two years from now, it might be 10 years from now, it might never happen, but she might know the type of person that I'm looking for. She might see, you know, somebody else doing something and be able to connect us. The idea is just to be having conversation after conversation after conversation. And then of course, convert them, right? At some point you're going to have to bring up isogenics and et cetera. But the idea for this call specifically was just to figure out how to make those connections. How can you meet people? How can you find people everywhere and just be excited about what you have? Then go back and listen to all the calls that we've been doing for so long about exactly what to say. The second thing I really want to chat with you guys about, and I think this is really important and I promise I'll get it done in six minutes. I'm keeping my commitment to Jess, you guys, 30 minutes or less. I think that it's very easy to go around your day without clarity and feel like you're doing the best you can simply by being positive and simply by being grateful, okay? So we look at the people that might be more negative Nancy, right? Or a victim mindset or like really not that motivated. And it's like, you kind of already feel like you're winning. You know, like I know I'm the ultimate positive person and I always will see like the grass is greener type of situation, even in the most like tragic, like that's just how my brain works. But we all have our frustrating days, right? We all have our tired days, like there's things. So just to be able to get up and be like, I love what I do. I wash my hair today, like whatever it may be. What I want to encourage you to see is that's not enough, meaning that's not your best potential, right? That's who you already are going to be. That's like in your status quo. That's in your DNA. But what if you really had clear intention throughout your day? 
Okay. What if you had intention on how many people you wanted to meet? What if you had intention of the type of posts you wanted to put up and not just putting the post up? What if you had intentions through the day, through the week, through the month of the number of enrollments you wanted to have, the number of rank advancements you wanted to have, the number of rank advancements in your team you wanted to have? And when you understand how powerful intention is, Every time you set an intention, every time you're laser focused on it, you're really, really crystal clear, you activate your RAS, your reticular activating system. And that's the part of your brain that gets you to focus on what you want it to focus on. So for example, when you're looking for a new car, what happens guys? You see it everywhere, right? Like when I was looking for my X4, I was like, oh my gosh, does everybody and their mother drive an X4? No, it's because I was looking at it. That's what I was focused on. So you start to see it, all right? Right now I'm looking at certain type of jeans. I'm wondering if I can pull it off. Now I feel like every single person's wearing that jeans, right? Your brain gets fixated on it. So if you want to buzz around and be like, oh, I'm happy. I'm grateful. I got paid. You know, I had my shake today. I came up with cleanse day. I'm feeling good. That's great. Like there's no shame on that. But if you could take it to the next level, right? And say, I want to have two new customers, you know, order and take advantage of the Moringa. I want to have three enrollments this week, one new consultant this week. I want to grow my cycles one a week for the entire month of November. You know, like if you're at two cycles now, go to three cycles a week. If you're at three cycles, go to four cycles, like whatever that is. When we came into Isogenics, you guys, we were setting so many goals. I mean, it was record breaking of how many people and the rank advancements. And that was just the MO. And I want to be really transparent with you on something. We switch the bonuses sometimes and we switch the focus. And so with the four PET, you know, team builder bonus, I'm working on orders and I'm working on repeat orders, right? And driving the line. But sometimes with my one level, not rank advancing the way that I normally would because my focus has shifted. And then with the new, you know, contest for Mexico and some things that are happening, I was like, whoa, you got to dial it in and like really track on what you're doing. And it's like asking you shall receive. And basically what I needed showed up immediately and that's because there's intention. That's because you know exactly what we're doing. And I think a lot of times with our, you know, wanting to set a, a goal or like project something or like, you know, foresee what can happen, we immediately are attached to fear. It's like, ah, what if that doesn't happen? Okay, worst, worst case scenario, you already know because you're in this situation anyway. The best case scenario is you move the needle closer to it, even if you don't hit it, right? If you just move the needle in the direction of where you want to go, it's impossible to stay stagnant if you're focused on forward movement. Okay, so I want you guys to get off this call tonight and I want you to be really, really honest with yourself on when was the last time you set a goal for something. I'm just going to let that one sit for a minute. And then what can you set for the rest of the month? You have the, a week to finish the commission month. Okay, finish the last week of this bonus. What is some goals you want to do this week? I want you guys to be like just on fire with a short-term goal. Like, you know, what? I'm going to enroll three people this week. You know, I'm going to get an active person, a new person. And I'm going to get a second PET enrollment, something like that. And then go a little bigger. What were you maybe thinking or feeling coming out of celebration? You know, we've got, you know, a four weeks left to kind of finish the 90 days coming out of celebration. Like, how do you want to wrap that up? Like, what do you want November to look like? How do you want to go into the holidays? Like thinking about the amount of money you want to make maybe in the TBB. Like, what is the number of enrollments, the rank advancements? How do you want to, you know, finish this trip to Italy, to Mexico that's currently happening? And then if you're comfortable enough, you know, start to think about January. Like it's not that far away, you know, like what are things looking like you guys, when you are surrounded by visionaries and dreamers, we had a conversation on Thursday before we left. Cause Ryan and I are refinancing our home right now that started as, well, if we do this, this is what the mortgage payment is going to go down to because of all the possibility of things in like literally 72 hours has been like, what if we did a HELOC? What if we finished the basement? What if we expand and da, 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 da. And it's like, okay, what do we have to do to make that happen? And again, it comes back to intention. And so the very last thing that I want to tell you, who in here is doing Jessica's uh, money manifestation challenge that she started 20 days ago? And if and I'm, I'm doing an activate and achieving. So if you guys are doing that, put some like fun emojis in the chat. And if anything has shown up for you right now, if money has like shown up in a way that you're just like, what in the world? Like, where is that coming from? I would love, love, love to like, hear your wins about this. Um, oh my gosh, whoever just wrote 2041. I love that. So you guys know that she starts us with how to earn a thousand dollars in 21 days, right? How to manifest, not earn, how to manifest a thousand dollars in 21 days. <laughs> you cannot make this up. If you 
like if you tried, I actually need to screenshot this and send this to Jessica, but I've been doing it and I've been in it. My car, for any of you remember, I wrecked my car in July, just had to do the team call for me that night. Um, cause I was like, so flustered. I got my car back last week. They had my car for like three months, which is like a whole nother story, which I'm not going to tell you, but I opened up my email today and I have an email from BMW asking me to set up chase quick pay so they can transfer me one thousand dollars for the inconvenience because of like how long it takes to fix my car like i was like what in the actual like and Ryan's like is that for real like is that something that actually happens like it's bananas right so i'm gonna actually send this to jessica because i want you to put it in your group and everything but it was like goosebumps head to toe. And that's the final thing that there are people everywhere and you cannot say the wrong thing to the right person. You cannot say the right thing or the wrong, the right thing to the wrong person, the wrong thing to the right person. And when you have excitement, enthusiasm and intention, you're bulletproof and absolutely like the sky is the limit. So I'm gonna leave you with that. Go have an amazing week. I can't wait to celebrate you all a week from tonight. I love you and we'll see you guys soon. Good night.